Hi friends, today is August the 20th. I haven't been talking to you guys for so long because so much has happened lately and um, yeah, I just thought I'd give an update. I am in the car as you can see. Um, I wanted to show you my cool um, seat covers, gee whiz, and my neat steering wheel. Anyway, so what has happened lately? Um, well, first of all, my eye issue. Um, this one, um, the glaucoma, there's problems with the iris, but I've had, as I've said before, four surgeries on it, so I really don't want anything else done to it, but we're going to wait and see. This eye, there is bleeding behind the eye, but very minimal right now, which is wonderful because um, I didn't, I don't want anything to happen, obviously, to my vision with my good eye. He didn't zap it or anything when I went to see him this time because, as I say, it is my good eye and we want to keep it um, non-irritated as long as we can to keep the vision. So there's that. Then my best friend Dave, um, he's not doing well. He had a spot on his lung. Um, a blood clot that um, went across to his other lung and it, right across his chest. Um, but he was in the hospital for that. They sent him home and now he is in the hospital again. He's completely swollen. Um, his face, his eyes, his ears, legs, hands, everything. So it could be a reaction to the blood thinner maybe. Um, I've been in contact with his daughter quite a bit and Bill and I did get a chance to go see him um, when he was in the hospital um, for the lung problem so that was good that we got to see him and the major thing well I still can't believe it it's taken me a good week to actually be able to even talk about it but um, on a Friday, Bill, everybody works until 5, but they had a special job that was about mm, three hours roughly away, maybe two and a half hours away. And anyway, um, what Bill does is there's a big hose that he has to lift and they suck out um, water and debris and stuff, and it goes into this big tanker. Well, um, they just sent the truck driver and Bill, so Bill had to do the... Um, physical part himself which he doesn't mind like he's a good strong worker well this hose um, when there's um, sludge and stuff in it it's a good 200 pounds so as he was shifting it he twisted his back and he hurt his shoulder um, so the company that he was sorry the company that they were working for that day said did you hurt yourself and bill goes yeah i just pulled something it's no big deal well then the truck driver that he was with that actually works at the same company as bill said bill you know you have to put in an incident report for this and bill said no i'm fine i just pulled something um the reason they even knew it all is because you know when you pull something or whatever you go oh like that well that's what happened so the guy that bill works with said listen you're such a big guy on health and safety, you know how important it is to put an incident report in. So he did. Well, they get back to the place where Bill works and it's now seven o'clock, 7.30. Everyone's gone home because they're done at five. So the truck driver goes in and they um, um, parked his truck, locked everything up and went and punched their time card. And there was a letter in with Bill's time card. And he got the letter and he opened it and the letter said, now this is a Friday night, seven o'clock. No one's there, no one's talked to him, no one's anything. The letter said, you are not working out. Um, it didn't say that, Sandy, it did not say that. It said the date and it said the probation period was up and he didn't re meet the requirements and Somebody just pulled in next to me. They're going to think I'm crazy talking. Um, they didn't meet the requirements and something else. Um, and they let him go. And as I say, this was a Friday night. Monday, the following Monday, he would have had his time in. So one more stinking day. 
So at first I was devastated, of course, um, but then I got mad. Like now I'm mad about it. But anyway, he's still, they're working on stuff with it right now. He's just cutting back in the van. Um, so hopefully something will be done. Um, the union rep, even though he wasn't in the union yet, he would have been Monday, um, has put a grievance in. So Bill had to go today and sign that. So yeah, so hopefully everything will work out. Um, you know, it was so hard too because Bill before that had been without work for so long. And that time that he is working, he had 119 days and he needed 120. But for those 119 days, we kind of got our life back. It started to feel like the way things used to be when things were good, not when he was without work. So yeah, it's been a blow. I gotta switch arms, sorry. The person next to us still hasn't got out yet. So, But Bill's in the van, or in the car now, so hopefully they'll think I'm talking to him. <laughs> anyway, so that is what's been going on. Um, the weight, I haven't got on the scale, I have no idea. Um, I'm sure it's probably not good because I'm an emotional leader, as I've told you guys, and with this stress of this situation that just happened I have turned to chips but anyway today's a new day a fresh start hopefully that will just I got it smarten up um, I did have my therapy today um, and I, apparently I've gone to her 13 times now now she is an addictions counselor so my addiction to food but we do talk about other stuff like I told her about the bill situation I told her about Dave um, so we do talk about other things, and the hour does go by really quick. But anyway, so just an update. That's where I've been. Um, I haven't been doing any wreaths lately. Um, I don't even feel like doing it. I have started diamond painting, and I really, really like that. Um, if you're not sure what that is, it's um, you get a picture that has a sticky, like, a sticky substance on it almost like glue and you get these little gems that come with it they're called them drills and you it's kind of hard to explain but you kind of put these little gems in the sticky spot um so that's been a lot of fun anyway so that's what i've been doing that's the update i hope to talk to you guys again soon um know that i still love you guys and i think about you every day the only reason I haven't posted anything is because things have been, no other way to say it, things have been shitty. But I'm sure that they will get better. And that's it for now. Okay, love you guys and we'll talk to you soon. Oops, sorry. Okay, love you guys. Bye.